learning and development is most effective when it sits at the heart of the business. Um, research from towards maturity suggests that organizations embracing learning and development and aligning it with business goals are much more successful both in training as well as in business results. In our experience with large organizations across the world, one of the most effective ways of uh, improving business performance obviously lies in uh, flexible work patterns. So L&D can support HR by creating talent pools that are able to work through uh, virtual uh, collaboration rather than within one location uh, by selecting people who are actually able to use the technology to communicate, collaborate, speak the same language and do the same job from different locations all across the world. From our work with large global organizations, I believe there are strategies and tactics that can be applied and used throughout various organizations and there are just some tips that we would like to share. Well, first of all, practice what you preach. Lead by example. You'd be surprised to see how many L&D and HR managers are not taking their own medicine. They expect their workforce to study, to, to learn, to train themselves, but they don't themselves. The latest towards maturity research shows that 50% of L&D managers um, surveyed here uh, do not believe that they have the skills to market and communicate their own training programs. Point two, listen to what your employees say. Use uh, survey technology and uh, questionnaires to actually find out what they think about your training program. And then motivate your employees to actually practice what they've learned. It's all about use it or lose it. Uh, the 70-20-10 framework gives us an indication on how to actually use formal training as opposed to training on the job and application of what we've learned. And I believe that the L&D organization needs to facilitate the usage of the uh, stuff that has been learned as well as just learning itself. And here of course social and collaborative learning platforms come into place because they are the place where people actually collaborate, communicate and use and apply what they've learned. Next, make good use of mobile technology. Not necessarily only for the younger generations, our own experience shows that among the learner population that we have there is no significant difference in the uptake of mobile uh, between generations. So older people are using mobile as well as younger people for learning because they see the point in it. What we don't want to see is uh, people being limited to one scenario of learning. So we have to open up the entire world of learning and all the different platforms to facilitate learning anytime and anywhere. And finally, develop talent pools for people working together in virtual environments rather than just in one location because obviously you want to tap into the uh, talent pool and into the different skills of people working throughout your entire organization. We see more and more global organizations adopting a strategy that requires a more agile and flexible workforce. HR and L&D have a key role to play in not just providing the technical skills but also the communication platforms and communication skills for this strategy to be successful. Proactive measures now in adopting this strategy will uh, pay off now and most certainly uh, you will reap the rewards in the future.